What up, everyone? So, we're building tons of I have stuff coming to an end, and I have some great news. You guys stay tuned. What's up? So, I wanted to go over to Kingtail. Everyone's been calling, hey, is it for sale? Money talks, you know, right now, it's not going anywhere. It's staying. I want to keep it. I want to ride it. I want a bike for the summertime to pull up on everybody. If you want to ask how much, I'm not going to tell you. And if you email us, I might tell you how much I want for it. And it's not negotiable. But let's just get into it because I'm going to tell you guys what we've done to it since the last time. So this is our fender right here. 26, we did a wider fender uh, so we could fit all the trimmings on the OEM trimmings. Before when we had it, we had gaps in these chrome pieces right here. So we widened it out just a little bit more just so all the trimmings can fit even better. So we don't have like major gaps around this. Came out pretty cool. I'm happy with it. It needs a little bit of finessing, but and then you can see right here beforehand, this nacelle used to point a little bit too high. So it was fitting really nice, you know, over the fender and everything. But with the 26, the rake of the trees, the OEM, the cell that we made fit, it was just kind of like the degree was way too high. So it was kind of like pointing up and Eddie used to make fun of it all the time. And then he used to bother me. Did a custom nacelle where we angled it down and then cut it to make it all work. It really gets the flow of the bike spot on. We had a different type of throttle in here and the throttle this is a throttle by cable and it wasn't working too good before. So what we did is we took it apart and we put a new bearing inside of there and then took down the bar a little bit more and welded the whole inner bearing inside of here in sleeve. So it performs way better. I'm really happy with that. Another thing that we did, everyone can see it, this seat right here, it looks amazing. We're going for that classic look and I think we hit it on the button definitely. Saddle slash like burgundy, I don't know what you would even call this, but it's similar to like saddle. It looks um, vintage and that was the goal that we were after. Another thing that we've done here <clears throat> is that we painted all in here. You know, the bike is still dirty. We haven't cleaned it all up, so don't try to judge us yet. Uh, we're still gonna put a sleeve over these couple wires right here, but I'm showing you just the, the inside of the tank. Underneath it looks great. I wanted to finish it off properly. And then we added an amp as well. They already had an amp, but we added a bigger one, as you can see. Looks pretty sick. I'm really happy with it. And um, that's underneath the seat, and we're still working on that right there. But we'll clean that up a little bit more. Is that we put a brand new fender on it. The last fender, I felt like it was um, a little pushed in a little bit too much. It didn't really have that flow of the bike. It ended like right here, and then it was longer. We had to redo the spacing on the wheel, pull it back a little bit, and then fix the... Um, it had an issue with the rotor being too far this way towards me and it was causing the pad to cause too much heat and then discolor the rear rotor. So we fixed all that, got that done. Um, another thing is that we did a custom pan in here. You can barely see it right here. This is a custom pan that we did made it so we could hide all of our stuff that we have back there. We have tons of crap to make this bike work. And then uh, it's a chrome little pan, looks really nice. We've done that right there. We lower this exhaust down. As you can see that it used to be way higher. It was probably like about a few more inches higher. I'm probably sitting like a right, about like right there, the height then. We lowered it down so it could flow with the, the new fender. And then as you can see, boom, new kickstand. That's our kickstand right there. And then we brassed it. Uh, the bike's sitting so low because of the custom frame and everything that we've done to it. Uh, we had to do a one-off stand to sit it that low. We broke the engine down, put new gaskets inside of it, went through it, new breathers, just uh, you know, bring it up to par. And uh, just a double check to see how that thing was going in there. Obviously new paint, as you can see we did, last time used to have like, we eliminated the bra brass pinstripe color that we had in there and then we hit it with the gold leaf pinstripe, that's 24 karat. We added gold flake inside of the black and then we went more with like a vintage looking white. So it was more of like a bone off-white before it was a brighter white. I didn't really like that. Added a bigger DB in the back and gold leaf. And again, I know he's getting some close shots on this. It hasn't been detailed yet. Um, it was just, we test ride it, take it outside, bring it back inside, a couple little kinks. And then um, we know that we're gonna buff this and we know that we're gonna ceramic coat it. We know that there's a, a process going on. So I'm not too quick to, 
to put a lot of effort into getting this thing spotless yet. And then another thing that we did right here is we used to have blocks right here to lift this tank up. So uh, we eliminated the blocks, we added full plates inside of there and then lift the tank up through there. So now we have these block plates, custom, can't really, you can't really tell that we added those in there and it just looks like one long piece of frame. Uh, we added the one-off Harley Davidson as well. This was designed just for the bike. My boy Diary knocked it out of the park every time I hit him up for some custom lettering, custom art. He is a man, he hits it on the button, he could read my mind. And uh, he knocked it out of the park. Ruckus really got down for once on something. Um, knocked this out. This was a lot, a lot of detail to just do this logo. Tons of hours, tons of time. And then we add the gold leaf underneath it. It was a lot of work. I already knew that this was going to stress him out and I wanted it perfect. I think this took us like, I don't know, a couple of weeks just to knock this, the two logos out. This paint job, it looks really simple, but it's not. And it was a headache. A lot of little, small, little, small, small stuff, but it made a big difference. I'm really happy with the outcome. I think now all we have to do is we're going to update, update our speakers, uh, those speakers that we put in there. Um, they're basically what we call stage one of our speaker pods. And now we're gonna update those speaker pods with what we do now. But everything else is pretty much done. Tell me what you guys think. Um, I don't know if a lot of people notice this, but check this out real fast. I wanna show this off because I'm really happy with that. But look at our custom frame and then look at our custom horns. Sheesh, look at that. Super sick, I'm happy with that. This is why work is not getting done. Look at what his priority is. is my, what's my priority? The dude dumb cam head accessories. What is it? The f what do you it's have? It's hands free, Mike. You look, look like you got a go down camera. I'm just testing it. I'm just, just saying. Testing it. That yeah, looks pretty perv. It doesn't look perv. I really like your shirt, dude. This is a throwback ass shirt. I didn't know these existed still. They do. Look at that. And it's not even that beat the hell up. I found it in the back of my closet. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I said, Julio, you don't even know about this bike. He was Julio was in eighth grade when this bike was built. <laughs> eighth grade, Julio. Look at that headlight. How did you let us come outside with that headlight? First of all, he had the headlight when I came around, and I was like, Bleh. but I didn't know any better yet. So I didn't. That was. Your I didn't know any better. Any, please forgive me for that headlight. Yeah. Remember how foggy you got inside that headlight? Yeah, because yeah. people were, said they can do it and they couldn't. You should have done it yourself, Mike. I tried, and I failed multiple all times. Dirt all in there. And he had the multiple colors, right? Because you had gray with chrome. Gray, chrome, black, and blue. And blue. I had that. I had it color coordinations have? on, bro. Point. Yeah. I didn't have no badges on the tank. You ever remember printing out maps to go drive somewhere? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We yep. used to print out maps to go pick all our. Uh huh. You had to put out maps to know where you were going, and you could switch the thing so you can make. You could know it's a like, quicker this route if you put these in this order. Just throwing it out there, I failed school really bad. Yeah, but NECA made a good point yesterday that if you go to college and you work really hard, you too can work for somebody that didn't go to college or work really hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'm just saying. Did you pass high school? Yeah, absolutely. Did you get good grades? I went to high school. Did I you pass it? I graduated from high school. Did you go to college? Yes, I went. I got my AA. What? Really? Yeah. What the f***? Yeah. Did you pass high school? Did you go? No, he went. You he get went. good grades in high school? No. No? No. You just looked ugly and had bad grades? Uh, so you didn't have good grades or any bitch. I went to school to smoke <laughs> and hang out. You smoked? Yes. What? F oh. So you passed, did you pass high school? Barely. Barely, but yeah, you passed it. Yeah, he's good. That's good. Yeah. I'm proud of you, Isaiah. I'm still working on my high school diploma. You can, you can um, like when you get famous, you can just ask them for a, for a degree. Really? Yep, they give you honorary degrees. No way. 100%. I want one. They just hand them I want a high school diploma. When you get richer, you could just donate some money and they'll just give you one. Then you gotta go to graduation. Yeah, I wanna go to graduation. Yeah. You I wanna walk. Go. <laughs> sit the f and then we'll know. <laughs> I'm gonna just sit there. <laughs> when they call a name. I'm just gonna walk up there. I'm gonna walk up there and have everyone cheering for me. Yeah. They'll be like, who the f is this guy? Like, I'm gonna take the mic. Mikey Loco. <laughs> <gasps> Yeah, it's going down. Yeah, when's the next graduate? We gotta go. You gotta go. Yeah, anyways. The moral of the story is drop out of school. Find something you love and work at it with fiery passion. 
<laughs> I'm not suggesting that anyone watching. Wow. We're gonna we're gonna bleep that like a cuss word because I don't support that. What? I oh, it's because he wants workers. Like, no, no, guys, get your degrees. <laughs> okay, guys, I need I need people to do. Okay, we need marketing. Okay, so if you got your degree and a big one too, get your master's in marketing. Whatever yeah. you want. Yeah, they obviously don't have paint for. They don't have like. They have, no, they don't have like yeah. a, a collision. Or you could go to like a trade school for collision and repair, but we don't want that. We no. want you to. We don't want another ruckus. No, 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 no. But he didn't go to school. Yeah, we can tell. Yeah, he probably got hit in the head. He. Definitely got hit in the head a lot. Hey, Ruckus. Let me see your head. Hey, how can y'all... No, hold on. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Here goes with his opinions. I just had... Oh, my God. A talk? Yes, a talk. Words. And I'm getting asked by another fellow painter if I took a bite of his chicken sandwich. <laughs> to which I replied... <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm you like... You can't just chime it's in. Like, he... <laughs> it's been marinated. It's like, it was... Because we were... It was quiet, and he looks over, and he's like, Hey... I was like, yeah. He goes, did you take a bite of my chicken sandwich yesterday? You know you f***. No, I have my own chicken sandwich. I, don't I need to ate all my chicken chi sandwich. First I was all, I so full. I, I was so full. I didn't eat till late at night. Well, probably because you're eating everybody else's. Sh I got a personal question. Yes, hit me. Did you graduate high school? I did. Whoa, shit! Did you go to college? Did I go to college? I went. Well, I joined the military after high school. Oh shit! So I got did college you, credits. Did you finish the military? Is that like how does that work? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you basically six years honorable. Really? Nice. Yeah. Where's your tattoo? I don't. I was in the Air Force. We didn't do that. You went oh. to the Air Force? Yeah. But you didn't get in an airplane. No, I got. I got an incentive flight. What's when that? I, when I, well, when I put on senior like, airmen, when I'm like E4. When you, <laughs> same words, huh? Delta doesn't count. Oh, excuse me. Let me drop my. Let me drop my vinaculars. Yeah, yeah. Um. So basically, I went to toddlers. I can't take you seriously with that crap on your head. All right, so I'm working on this. We almost got this bike ready to go. Mikey's acting like we're not getting it done. I'm getting it done. It's just not on his timeline. He doesn't understand. This is the art form. You don't rush this. You don't rush into relationships. You don't rush into finishing off a paint job. That's just bottom line. And then talking about like, I got a bunch of chicks. I don't have a bunch of chicks. I'm a grown man. I don't know where he's getting that shit from, Alpha. Is it coming? Always talking shit. I'm gonna pray for him. I think, I think he needs our prayer. If everybody could just maybe lift his name up in prayer and ask why he's such an asshole sometimes. Please let Mikey not be so much of an asshole this week, to Ruckus especially. Amen. And just, and just comment down on the thing. Just say amen. And I know that you prayed for this guy. But yeah, we got this. This is the dash, almost ready. Everything's coming along. This bike's gonna be beautiful. I'm, I'm going to work. I'm trying. Look, I'm literally buffing right now. You're not buffing. Yes. You're just looking at the Look, I think, I think you're you're stressed out. Yes, I am. Did you even look at the front fairing? Did you look at the front fender? I mean, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. And I got that done in like an hour. Okay. But does it? But does it look beautiful? Look at my body transformation. I lost 200 pounds. In three weeks, I lost what? 50. Get the out of here, hurry up. <laughs> Groundhog should have came out. So we could have suns out, guns out, okay? I'd rather be on the motorcycle recording right now. But no, we freezing our asses off. This is what's going down right now. You know, I like to support small. We're going to a little hole in the wall this place, I mentioned it earlier, it's always closed. So I don't know what's going on or what's happening, but I called and they happen to be open right now. I talked about this place. Damn, dog. What the fuck was that? I hurt my neck. Shit. Hurt my car, bro. Here in Long Beach, they most likely know about it. And if you don't know, you're sleeping. If you like sushi, this is Kinakawa. All I know is I'm excited. I've been trying to eat this place for months and I never. The only time I could really get here is if I leave work and go eat. It's food, food review time, you know? It's time to get my food review on. I already know how good this place is. That's the only downfall, but I'm sharing it with everyone else so you guys can be on point. I'm gonna tell you what to order.
So I'm putting you guys on. It's Kinakawa and Big Spinoza Long Beach. Uh, cross streets are pretty much orange and Wardlow. Uh, if you're gonna come here, I'm gonna show you what to order right now because this is the spot. This guy doesn't eat sushi, so you, you, if you order from the kids menu, they have a little lineup. Best scalps you'll have in town, guaranteed. I got money on it. And then this is Snapper right here, Japanese style Snapper. Check that out right there. Ray ordered this. I don't order this here, but I gotta try it. He was like, hold on, Mikey. Let me get you a little fresh hand roll real quick. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Kinakawa, legendary in Long Beach, and it is fire to this day. There's no one really here. I don't know, like, I just guess, like, people don't really know what's up with this place. I feel like everything is 10 out of 10. Quality is there. Customer service is there. It is a little expensive, I'm not going to lie. But it was four people. So, we all grew up. You full? You full? Yeah, we're all full. We're stuffed. It was amazing. You guys got to try it. 10 out of 10, everything. I love it. On the phone, look at that. So I'm talking about everybody, look at this ass. On the phone. Oh, yeah, Damn. Yeah. Every time, yeah. I off the chin spoiler, Every time I came back he here on the... I had to order a, Damn. Uh, my cut and I had to do what it What happened right in the last one, Ruckus? <laughs> you the one bringing up some stuff. I didn't bring it up. I just said I needed to is order that my cut because done? they got to ship it to me. Is the chin spoiler done? Day. The chin spoiler is done. That's good. And now I'm building the derby cover right though. That's nice. And then that's done. They got the front fender on. It looks immaculate. It's like that fender was created immaculately and we don't know like what was, I don't know. <laughs> immaculately? It just, I saw it in a dream. I saw that fender in a dream and it came out exactly I how. Have a, I have a serious question for you. Do you and closing doors have an issue because that Stays open 90% of the time where you don't like clothes. Yo, okay, no, I got your mechanics over there coming up, and this is my house, all right? Yeah. Coming in, not they, they don't knock, they don't pay rent. And I do, I pay rent with my effort. And he's got this right here shooting shards of metal all over where I'm color sanding and buffing, okay? Now, let Why me, you let him do that? Let me work some science for you, okay? Why you shards let him even do that? When you're buffing into a clean paint job, gets into the rag, okay? These collect everything. So I got little shards of metal flying all over ricocheting like oh, he little doesn't. bullets. He and doesn't. He doesn't see a problem with it because he's a mechanic. I was like, let me touch it. Put my hands all over it. Because okay. I got grease all over my hands. Okay, so, all over the world. so first of all, first of all, you went off, a, you're getting a little too crazy right now. Okay. I'm loose Second of all, ain't no shards of paint. Ain't no shards getting on her paint. You know that. No that I know that. that. There's no way to get on it. I could clearly see this glassy paint. And it's glassy because I make it that way. Oh, what about the shards? Because I threw the shards off. Oh, okay. I make sure it's shard free. Can you not disassemble my blower? Where's my blower piece Why at? do I get blamed for that? Because it's clearly in Why front of Why don't you ask me who did it? So, and I'll tell you. Who did it? Jesse. Oh, me and Jesse got a problem. I said, hey, sorry, Jesse. <laughs> He's <laughs> snitching. You see him snitch. I said, hey. <laughs> Did you do this, sir? No. You didn't do this? No. It looks like you did this. Ruckus did that. Ruckus did that. Yeah. I'm thinking you did this. That's a negative. Do you know where this piece is at? Uh, no, I have no idea. Rub my balls on Ruckus's bike. <laughs> oh. Damn, look at that, it's sick. Uh, I look like a Batman going on right here. Yeah, this is sick. What'd you do? You cut a round piece and welded it? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a level. 
lot yeah, of work. Yeah, hell yeah, that's a lot Better of work. Than It's 314, 3.14 is pie, makes it pie a day. Traditional pizza, you know what I mean? You gotta do that. So, Neca right here, got us some stuffed crust. What's this, like double pepperoni? What's going on here? Damn, all right, it's a whole fucking pizza. This is why he got so many slices of pizza. bike giveaway do the bike giveaway what we're we gonna do we're gonna do the bike giveaway all right so this is how it's gonna go down all right fourth annual it's cracking we already have dates april 1st there's gonna be 500 tickets available what the 500 tickets gonna get you it's gonna get you entrance to the private event all right food drinks entertainment it's going down all right that's gonna qualify you to win this motorcycle or walk away with twenty five thousand dollars cash money april 1st phone lines go live these things are gonna fly off the shelf. So you wanna get in there, get your tickets fast. The date of the event is June 3rd, all right? Close event, you don't have a ticket, yo ass is not getting in, all right? I don't care if I know you, mom's cousin's friend from church, I don't care, this is not happening. You get a ticket, you get to come inside. We're gonna have 500 balls in a clear drum, all right? We're gonna pull every single ball out to the last three. All right, last three people, they're gonna be the qualified winners. Third place is gonna be 500 bucks. Second place will be 1,000. And then the first place is gonna win this bike right here or $25,000 cash money. So you make sure you get your tickets, all right? It's going down, live event. You do not have to be here to participate, but you do have to get a ticket to the event to qualify. Make sure you guys get your tickets, man. You see the following, it's huge. Only 500 are available, 500 tickets. 150 bucks a ticket, they're going fast, stay tuned. Got dirtbag little man up, look at him. Normally hyper, I got him a little motorcycle. He rolls around town over here at RPC, but I caught him on his off day. He's ready to rest, he's not ready to play. Lace them up with that DB beanie. You guys gotta cop these because they're in right now and it's cold as hell outside. Look at him all comfortable with the DB hood beanie on. Tell him, tell him, get them while you can. Get them while you can. everyone you already know we love to eat and we love to support small so pulled up the coastline we're handling cars over here and we gotta stop by Lupe's taco shop super little tiny hole in the wall and the food is amazing alpha was like i'm hungry like a million times knowing that we're gonna be right here we got some burritos to go because we have a lot of work today and we can't stop and eat so food review on the go you guys make sure you check out this place. I'm gonna go pick up my order. We got burritos. Okay, these are surf and turf burritos. They're gonna have asada, shrimp, french fries, and all the good stuff. All right. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I'm not gassing this up, okay? I don't even eat burritos. I never eat burritos. I'm only eating burritos from this place. I had their chilaquiles from right there in the morning with potatoes, fire. I had their hard um, shell tacos, fire. I had their soups. I already had their burrito just because I was on the move. And this thing is fire. So good. You can see the shrimp right there, the guac, the fries, the meat. Burrito 10 out of 10 all day long. I'm showing you guys all the hot spots, man. Damn, this is good. Make sure if you're around town, you stop at that spot. 
you visit Coastline, right around the corner, that spot. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. That, that's that's the best burrito I ever eaten. That is that good right now. I was like halfway through the burrito. Alpha done ate the whole damn burrito. It was gone. How you? Don't, I didn't understand how you eat that fast, bro. You done took that shit down like it was a tic tac and shit. That was seems like I'm blowing it out of proportion by saying that's one of the best burritos I ever had, but that's hands down top three best burritos that I ever had. Right on, so you guys can see it's coming together. It's looking beautiful. I can't wait to see it done, uh, but we're not done yet. Radio didn't work out, so we sent that back and we're gonna get the radio that we normally work with. We got the guy here. You know when you know when the seat guy is here, it, it's getting pretty close, you know? So we're gonna pour the pan right now. I already got the concept and design. I already picked the material that we're gonna use, the colors that we're gonna use, the concept. So me and him are on the same page. He has my little ditto drawing and he'll make it happen because we've been working together for so damn long. He can pretty much read my mind now. Uh, you guys can already tell that this bike is coming along to the next level. This paint job is immaculate. I love it. Um, Ruckus is super slow. It took him way too long to get this to this, this stage. We're not done yet. We still got tons of work of uh, little minor stuff going together, but it is almost there. Once we put the front fairing on it, it'll make complete sense. At the moment, it looks a little crazy and we're missing a lot of little small parts. Beautiful setup, next level with it. Another one coming out and coming to a hood near you. What up everyone? Okay, so we're gonna get the real truth from the seat guy right here. All right, a couple questions. We have him here, we might as well interview him. So how long have you been working with Dirtbags? Uh, 10 years. Out of all the customers you have, who do you think is the most difficult? I gotta say the truth, Mike is the most difficult one. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I can see myself being difficult. Out of all, of all the seats you do, do you feel like we get more out of the box and more creative with it? Yeah, I like that because, you know, every seat is a challenge for me, and I really like to do challenging stuff. And to make these uh, bikes, beautiful bikes with uh, my seats, it's a really, really uh, honor for me to make those seats. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, man. You heard from the man himself. We appreciate you. Ten years going down of long, hard-ass work and me talking a lot of shit. <laughs> but I calmed down with the shit talking and I'm more grateful than anything and I appreciate the seat guy man thanks for all the hard work Thank bro you. hell yeah right on you guys seen it you guys heard it it's going down April 1st phone lines are gonna open up Doors will be open for walk-ins as well. They're gonna fly. I guarantee first week, ticket sold. So do not hesitate. This event is gonna be next level. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate all the support. I'll see you guys next week. Stay up.